hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to show a success message or a whatever message we get after the form submission okay so we are using a sweet alert should show the messages the success messages or confirm messages and all so guys as we saw in previous video we have done about part 10 how to show a success message after form submit using alertify js and now in this video we'll be doing sweet alert thing okay let's move to sweet alert hit enter you will find a website of it sweet alert let's click on this and yes guys so let me just move to direct home page and this is the home page guys as simple you can see all the things how it's working over here so when you click on this this is the normal view and when you click on this this is a sweet alert view so guys we will be using this thing so either you get started from here or let's click on guide over here and from here installation process is there if you want to install you can use or else we can use the cdn link which is provided over here so let's copy this and get started with it let's copy this now let's right click and then copy on it and then we have to go to your project okay so let's move to our vs code editor and guys let's go to our body tag where is the all the html layout we have view layout we have where we have set okay so this we have learned in previous video so i'm going to comment this we are not going to use this okay so this is for alertify now let's use the sweet alert for that so let's click over here and now over here we are going to use the same code so for that let's type that script and inside this you have to type jq doc and here it is so jq doc and then you have to use the session for it so let's copy this session over here and this session over here done php open and close so now if the session is set then you have to show the message inside this so status if it is set means so let's get back over here and go to our suite alert so in the getting started you can see there is a dummy detail how you print this okay so let's uh, move below over here one more thing okay so let's ignore this and try with this one okay let's click on it here you are getting some icon and then the title and the paragraph right so this one we will use so uh, this is like directly they have given if you wanted in more option we can use this then it will be easy if you want the button name also like when you click on this you can see okay right if you want to rename that button you can see way over here Aussies. over here so let's uh, copy this only and you can assign the button name also over here so let's go to our code and before checking this we will directly check the output so now let me just paste over here we are not going to check on the status we will just check directly so let's save this and now guys this over here okay done i am telling done okay done let's save this and you can just move on and let me just refresh the page directly it will alert cool so this is how you integrate so now i want this message to display on the when we are editing or deleting or adding the data that time it should show so now let's get back to our code and yes guys so this copy this and paste into inside the php code excuse me and then let's arrange this yep guys so inside this how will it set so we are going to get this session flash data only so when you are setting this uh, in this title i want to show the status of it okay so how will you paste so let me just open php is equal to and close php and then directly paste that simple so make sure it's in double quotes if you are not giving double quotes it will show an error or else it will not pop out the data and for the text you can just copy and place and give an option for it status underscore text 
and then coming to icon you can paste this also and tell status underscore icon done this will be let's make it to from ok done to ok and let's remove this save it and now guys let us just see the output of it let me just refresh and now i'm going to just update the data so let me click on edit and now let me add n and update so updated and now you can see student updated successfully why because this data has come because it is only set as status so i'll just show you what is the reason for that so this is coming only the title right status so let's go to our controller to set the data as simple you can see with over here status student updated successfully so you can give two options like this one more thing and over here you can mention that status underscore text or icon we will just give okay and text one we will use flash data something like that so this is also as flash data when you with submit that it will ask for the session okay and here you can tell your student data has been no updated okay this is for text not for icon so icon i'll just tell you so before that let us set a session for it if you want you can use here only you can just rename one more name and utilize but i just want to show you using flash data also so i'm getting set capital f flash data function inside that single quote where i will tell status 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 underscore text and then give the value inside that whatever you have taken and then give semicolon so guys so this status text and status icon is coming from here okay so these are the status text and status icon so insert this icon what this icon you want to store so let's move to controller over here and we want to store the icon as i'll just show you what are the icons which is provided from suite alert as you can see warning status error success and info so these four icons are rightly present if you want you can just find out more icons might be there okay so we are going to use a success icon when updated you can tell this is success so let's get back and go to our I can place and place this code success okay let's save it and now we'll move on and let's click on it and let's click on edit and guys I just want to remove this and let me update so when updated you can see the icon has come and the student updated successfully your student data has been updated okay so guys let's click okay and done so this is how you set the how to show a success message using sweet alert so guys in this video that's it and let's see in next video how can you use for deleting the data like confirm and delete this is normal alert right so now we will use something sweet alert for to delete the data so guys in this video that's it and thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share